Hello all, till now we have seen how to add items inside the cart and how to display whatever data I am having inside the table, how to display that one. I will just come here, now you can see here I am having only one item and the total price and subtotal everything we have displayed and also we have seen how to update the quantity, I will just write here to update cart, now you can see the subtotal will be changed but the price remains same. And also we have seen this remove cart, I will check on this, when I click on this remove button the item will be removed. Now we are going to see once the cart is empty then I don't want this table header should be displayed and also we should not display this subtotal and this checkout button. Only if the user logins and if the user is having some items in the cart then only we have to display this checkout button. Okay and also we should not display this subtotal. Okay it doesn't make any sense if we display this header and if we display this kind of subtotal. Now in my demo you can see here I am having cart is empty and only one button is there that is continue shopping. I will come to home page, okay this is the demo project, add to cart, okay, add to cart, okay, I will come to cart, now I can remove this multiple items, as soon as I click on remove item, you can see I should be getting this message, cart is empty and only I should be getting this continue shopping button, I should not be getting this subtotal button and this checkout button, you can see, now if I am having items inside the cart, then I am getting this subtotal, I am getting this checkout button and also I am getting this entire table. Now we are going to see how to do this. I will come to my project. You can see I should not be displaying this header, this subtotal and this checkout button if the cart is empty. So I will come here. Okay, here we have fetched the data. Let me just come. Here we have fetched this entire data from the cart. Here we have executed this query. Now what I am going to do is I am going to check the number of rows present inside the cart table. Below this, I am just going to create one variable. I will just write here result count. Now, inside this, I am just going to write my SQL i num rows. Okay, using this, let me just write my SQL i num rows. And inside this, we have to pass this result variable. I will copy this one and here I am going to paste. Okay, we have seen plenty of times using this method, we will count the number of rows present inside the database. Now, whatever result I am getting from this query, that number of rows will be counted here and that will be stored inside this variable. Now below this I am just taking the condition, if this result count, if it is greater than 0, only then I have to display this entire thing. Okay, whatever code I am having here, only then I have to display this. I will remove this closing if, okay, this is going to wrap this entire thing and at the end I am just going to close this one. Okay, where we have written, where we have closed two while loops, I am just closing that one here. Then below this, I am just going to write, okay, let me just save this. Now, I will refresh this one. You can see I do not have any change here. Now, what I am going to do is this entire thing, okay, this entire table head, I should be displaying only if my number of rows is greater than 0. I will copy this. I will cut from here and inside this, I will just write here echo and here I am just going to display that one. I will just give here single quotes single quotes, I will just close here. Okay, before while loop, I am just printing this one. If I just print inside the while loop, then it is going to run each and every time unless and until my products are present. Okay, I will be telling you, I will save this. Now, if I refresh this, you can see the product, okay, whatever headings I was having, that has gone. Because now, the number of rows is not greater than 0. It is equal to 0 and it is definitely less than 0. So, this entire thing will not be printed. Now, instead of this, I should be displaying the else part. Now here I have closed if, this is the first while loop and this is the second while loop. Now below this I am just going to write else, else I just have to display cart is empty. I will be writing echo and inside h2 I will just write here cart is empty. I will close h2. I will save this. Now if I refresh this one, okay here I am having unclosed on line 12. Okay, here I am having else, I just have to close this else part, I will save this, I will refresh this, now you can see I am getting this message, cart is empty, but I want that in the middle, I will just write here class, class is equal to text center and also I am just going to write text danger. Okay, this will be giving the text in red color, I will refresh this, now you can see cart is empty. Okay, this is how we are going to display. First, what I have done, I have just counted the number of rows present inside the database. From here, whatever data I am getting, I am just counting the number of rows.
okay if it is greater than 0 only then i should display this table head and this table head i have included before while loop okay if i include after while loop let me just copy this i'll just copy this entire thing i'll comment this now if i just write here before this if i just write okay now this is included inside while loop now you can see what happens i'll refresh this i'll add some items inside the cart i'll come to home page add to cart okay add to cart okay i'll come here now you can see each and every time i'll be getting this headings so for that we are just including this before while loop i'll just remove from here okay now i am having now you can see now if i just refresh this i will be having proper output okay this is how we are going to display table headings now here in the same way if the cart items are available only then i have to display this one or else i should not display this so i'll just come here in the same way i'm just going to copy this okay till here i'm just going to copy wherever we have written the condition i'll just copy this entire thing below this i'm just going to write the php code okay php syntax now inside this i'm just going to paste the code okay what we have done we have just selected the card details if these are present i'm just counting the number of rows okay i'll just close this if here if this is greater than zero only then i have to display this entire things i'll just write here echo and inside this i'm just going to paste this i'll copy i'll cut from here and inside this echo i'm just going to paste from here i'll just remove double quotes and instead of that i'm just going to place here single quotes i'll just remove this hash and here i'm just going to write here single quotes okay now you can see total price we are already inside php again i don't have to write this one i'll just remove this and also i'm just going to remove this now i'll save this one now if i refresh this you can see only if that is greater than 0 i was displaying else i don't have anything so inside else i should display this continue shopping button i'll just write here echo i'll copy this button here i'm going to paste that one i'll just close this now if i refresh this you can see here i'm having only continue shopping button now let me just add some items to the cart i'll add okay now if i come to cart you can see here now i will be getting the subtotal as zero because while copying we have initialized the value as zero so i'll just remove this one i'll save this now if i refresh this one i will be having the proper subtotal whatever i am having here that will be displayed okay this is how we are going to display the items if the items are present only then i have to display the items and also i have to display the buttons if the items are not present then i should not display this one but here if you see when i click on this continue shopping i am not redirected to index.php file so what we are going to do is in the same way for that we are just going to create input field i'll copy this input field and in place of this button i'm just going to paste i'll change this double quotes to single quotes value i'm just going to write here continue shopping i'll just change this i'll be changing this here i'm just going to write continue shopping i'll just give one space i'll copy the same input field and here i'm just going to paste now below this i'm just going to write the condition if okay let me just write the php code or i can just write here if using this post method i'll just first i'll just check if is set dollar post inside this i'm just going to pass this one inside this i'm just going to pass this now if this is set then i should be redirected to index.php file i'll just write here script tag i'll just close here script tag and inside this i'm just going to write window.open then i should be redirected to index.php file index.php file and also i'm just going to write here self okay i should open in the same tab so i'm just writing here self now i'll come here i'll refresh this now when i click on this continue shopping you can see i am redirected to index.php file okay if you want to give any stylings you can give let me just write here continue shopping i'll save this okay i'll just wrap inside single quotes 
here also I will just wrap inside single quotes. I will save this. Now, if I refresh this one, here I will be having continue shopping. When I click on this, I will be redirected to index.php file. Now, I am successfully able to add the items inside the cart. I can view the items, whatever items I am having inside the cart, that items has been displayed. I can update the quantity. I can remove the items from the cart. I can update this quantity. I will just update cart. You can see I can update. When I click on continue shopping, I am redirected to index.php file. And if I do not have any items in the cart, then I will be getting cart is empty and also I am having only this continue shopping button. Okay, we are done with this cart, entire cart we are done. Let me just come to index.php file. Now, here I am just going to add this item. I will click on this cart. Now, when I click on this checkout button, okay, here we are going to see two conditions. If the user is logged in, then it should be redirected to payment section. If the user is not logged in and if the user is randomly checking this website, then we will be redirecting user to the user registration page. Okay, if the user is logged in, then payment page. If the user is not logged in, then registration page or login page. Next, we are going to work on user area. How to register a user, how to give login credentials to user, what data user can see, everything we are going to see about user now.